So recently I discovered via a post by Jenny D, who is a fellow Coloradoan, that there is a real-life castle in Colorado. So I drove down south, not too far from Pueblo, to go visit this thing in Rye, Colorado. Checked into my motel. Got the Wi-Fi password. What the, what the hell does that say? Then I went out to dinner at the tavern across the street. There's a lot of cowboy stuff here deep in the mountains. Didn't sleep very good, so I saw a beautiful sunrise over I-25. Then I drove up a little further into the mountains, far away from Colorado City towards Rye, R-Y-E. And then I saw Bishop Castle just off the side of the road like any regular Colorado rest stop. Maybe we should read this first. Ah, uh, no, let's go over here. Oh. Jesus. There are quite a lot of warnings here about various things. No drunks. That kind of amused me. So this is like a guard tower with a moat. Oh, it can go up in it. Nice sturdy stairs that'll come into play later. Fire bans strip human rights. How long has man had fire? I don't know. Since the beginning? Hi. There is the castle. It's quite a sight to behold. Hidden from the trees, you can't see it by the road. There it is in a wide frame shot. Here's the front of the castle. What really makes this thing stand out. What's so impressive is that there is one guy who built this whole thing. This one guy has done it all by himself over the last 50 plus years. And it's an active construction site, so there is a lot of crap everywhere. I heard voices when I was inside, and I thought it was people talking, and then I realized it was actually not people, it was Flava Flav talking to his uh, lady suitors on, what was that show called, Flavor of Love, from like 20 years ago? Anyway. I was there mostly by myself the whole time. The builder, Jim Bishop, has a lot of opinions about a lot of things. As you can tell by the many signs that are posted all around the premises. The uh, Willard did not build the castle, in case you were wondering. A lot of stairs here, so I fast forward through a lot of this. Here is the first floor, I guess. A lot of stained glass up here and stickers everywhere. The Angel Betty Boop. This is an interesting stained glass art choice. Lots of machinery everywhere. I don't know, 
what that is. About to get to my favorite part. Yes, the stained glass reflection on the wood floor. Isn't that beautiful? Is that cowboys? Vikings? We get our first set of rickety metal stairs. I think we should listen in a little bit on experience I had going up the stairs here. Ooh. Yeah, I'm wearing pajama pants. And then this is the main floor. It's got those giant ceilings, bunch of chairs everywhere in a locked cage. I think this is probably where they hold the weddings. It's a statue, wooden statue of a arm. You'll notice as I step outside, there are quite a lot of shots of the railing and of my feet because I faint felt like I was basically hanging out in space there and did not feel the safest. A lot of creaking and clanging, walking on these rusted metal railings. Pretty impressive to think one guy built this whole thing. And he's still working on it. It's an active construction site. What's that pipe for? Doesn't step on those, does he? What's that thing? Kind of a standard looking roof for a castle, but got to keep the rain out somehow. There's another shot of that wide hall I think they use for weddings and receptions and kind of stuff. It's free to enter and everything, even for groups, but I think if you want to have a wedding there, he asks that you make a larger donation. Alright, let's head up near the top. Let's see how these stairs hold up. A lot of stairs, let's fast forward through this. The shot of the main hall from above. Look at that. More stairs. It's a bell. All right, back to the stairs. And here we get up to the roof section. That goes up to nowhere, at least not yet. There is the stairway to blank. The stairway to blank. The tower. I think it's huge. It's impressive, eh? More stairs, let's go up that tower. At least these have concrete on them. There's a view above the main hall. There's that stairway to blank where it ends at the blank. Uh, now you're about to see me bonk my head. Let's listen in. Let's be a little more careful this time. Oh, yep, there it is.
Getting pretty high up here. Look at those mountains. Aren't they beautiful? See me throwing hands out like I'm a rock climber looking for a grip. I felt, oh, look, there's just a hole in the stairs. Certainly felt less and less secure the higher up I went. Oh, hey, look, that's a dragon. That's cool. And here we are outside finishing up the tour. Money, money, dollar, dollar bills, y'all. The guest book? No, I did not write this, but there were several sentiments very similar to this one. There's a little miniature of the castle. Not little, quite big. There's the rules again. Maybe we should read them this time. That is Bishop Castle. Let me leave you with this. This is just a lake off the side of the road a couple miles away from there. I went to Portland a couple years ago and was visiting a friend, and that friend's mom said that Colorado was the ugliest place she had ever seen. And I like to think about her and that quote anytime I see the amazing beauty of Colorado like this. If you're interested in checking out Bishop Castle, uh, it's near Rye, Colorado, R-Y-E. And uh, it's, a, it's an interesting visit. It's fun. It's a cool place. I don't think you want to spend more than an hour or two there, so I probably wouldn't travel around the world to go see it. But if you are in Colorado, give it a look. This is GM Jim. Take it easy.